Hello everyone, my name is Melinda and I will be your teacher today. Our homework for today was to answer some questions. Domaći za danas je bio da odgovorimo na neka pitanja ili da ih postavimo drugu drugarici da odgovore. For example, can you play tennis? Yes, I can. When do you play tennis? I play tennis every Monday and Friday from 7 p.m. to half past 8 p.m. Yes. Okay. Can you sing well? Yes, I can. When do you sing? I sing every Saturday from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. at music school. 8 a.m. a.m. prepodne, da, and 1 p.m. jedan posle podne. At music school u muzičkoj školi. And can you do gymnastics? Yes, I can. Gymnastics. When do you do gymnastics? I do gymnastics every Tuesday, Tuesday, and Thursday, Thursday, from Quarter past 6 p.m. to quarter past 7 p.m. We can also say 6.15 p.m. to 7.15 p.m. Okay? Um, this is just an example. Ovo je samo primjer kako su mogli da budu odgovori. Um, okay? And our topic for today is birthdays. Naša današnja tema su rođendani. Let's read the text about birthdays. I love birthdays. My birthday is on the 5th of April. On the 5th of April. 5th of April. I always celebrate my birthday on this day. Uvek slavim. Celebrate. Uvek slavim svoj rođendan na ovaj dan. Ne pre i ne poslije. Friends come to my house and bring presents. They bring presents. Donoste poklone. My mom prepares or orders the food for us and she makes a cake. Prepares, priprema, or orders, ili poručuje, the food, hranu za nas. Everyone sings happy birthday and I blow the candles out. Look at the picture. Blow the candles out. I sometimes have my birthday party at the swimming pool or at the bowling alley. Ponekad slavim rođendan, uh, imam žurku ili proslavu na bazenu ili u kuglanju. Okay. When is your birthday? Kada je vama rođendan? Let's revise the months of the year. Da obnovimo mesece u godini. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. When is your birthday? For example, my birthday is in September. Okay? A kada hoćemo da kažemo datum, onda kažemo My birthday is on the, for example, first, prvog, the first of February. Prvog February. Or on the second of March, drugog marta, or on the 3rd of April, 3. aprila. Okay? Uh, these numbers are ordinal numbers. Ovo su redni brojevi. Let's check if we know them well. Da provjerimo da li ih znamo lepo. 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 
eighth, ninth, tenth. Okay? Prva tri naučimo na pamet. First, second, third. A za ostale zapamtimo pravilo da se dodaje na kraju nastavak th. 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 Fourth. Kod broja pet opet postoji mala razlika u izgovoru. Broj pet je five, a peti fifth. Sixth. Pravilno. Seventh. Također pravilno. Eighth. Možemo da primetimo samo jedno t. Ninth. Izgubilo se e. We lost the e. Izgubili smo to posljednje slovo i dodali th. Tenth. Pravilno. One more time. Još jednom da ponovimo. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth. For example, I can say my birthday is on the 6th of June. Or, my birthday is on the 9th of August. My birthday is on the 10th of October. Ok, da nastavimo dalje sa rednim brojevima. 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, i tako dalje. 15th, 16th, 17th. Kod broja 20 dolazi do promjene. 20th. 20th. Isti ovaj nastavak je i za 30th. 30th. 40th. 40th. 21st. 22nd. 23rd. 24th. And so on. I tako dalje. Da primetimo nastavak th ostaje. Kod broja 12 dolazi do promjene u pisanju 12th, 12th. Okay. I kod broja 20 i svih okruglih brojeva desetica, 20th, 30th je ovakav nastav. 40th. Okay. One more time, još jednom da pročitamo zajedno. 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th. 20th, 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th. So someone can say, my birthday is on the 14th of May. Ovo sam stavila u zagradi zato što se ovo obično ne piše, ali se čita. D ide uvek pre rednih brojeva. Član D stavljamo ispred rednih brojeva. The 14th. Of May. Znači to ne pišemo, ali izgovaramo kada čitamo datum. Još jedan način da pročitamo datum jeste da prvo kažemo mesec, a onda dan. My birthday is on August the 20th. Da ne imamo ovo ovo. My birthday is on August the 20th. When's your friend's birthday, your mother's birthday? Do you remember other people's birthdays? Da li pamtite rođendane drugih ljudi? Let's read this together. Da proverimo kako čitamo datum. My best friend's birthday is on the 8th of September. The 8th of September. My mother's birthday is on The 25th of April. The 25th of April. My father's birthday is on the 18th of February. The 18th of February. My grandmother's birthday is on The 12th of July. The 12th of July. 
My cousin's birthday is on the 3rd of August. The 3rd of August. My aunt's birthday is on the 31st of December. The 31st of December. My uncle's birthday is on the 20th of November. The 20th of November. Okay? So let's check cousin. Bratili sestro, tetke, uja kastrica, aunt, tetka, uja strina, uncle, uja kastric. Let's discuss where do you usually celebrate your birthday? Where? Gde obično slavite svoj rođe? Where do you usually celebrate your birthday? I usually invite friends to my home and we eat, drink and have fun together. Ja obično pozivam prijatelje kod mene kući i tu jedemo, pijemo i zapad. I often invite friends to a bowling alley. We bowl and listen to music. We eat the cake there. I often invite često pozivam prijatelje to a bowling alley u kuglan. We bowl i kuglamo and listen to music. Slušamo muziku. I we eat the cake there. Tamo jedemo tort. And uh, I like to invite friends new places. For example, the cinema, the swimming pool, or the sports center for my birthday. But we always eat first at my home and I blow the candles out on my birthday cake. Invite my friends to new places. Pozivam prijatelje na nova mesta. The cinema, bioskop, the swimming pool, Bazen, the sports center, sportski center. Okay. But we always eat first. Ali uvek jedemo prvo at my home, kod moje kuće, and blow the candles out, duvam svećice, on my birthday cake, na rođendanskoj torti. Okay, where do you usually celebrate your birthday? Gde vi slavite svoj rođen? Next question, who do you invite to your birthday party. Who do you usually invite to your birthday party? Koga obično pozivate na svoju rođendansku zabavu? Who? Koga? Do you invite family and friends? Da li pozivate i članove porodice i prijatelje? Or maybe just family or just friends? Ili samo porodicu ili samo prijatelje? Do you invite all your classmates? Da li pozivate sve drugove iz odeljenja i drugarice ili samo poneke? Do you invite your neighbors? Da li pozivate i komši? Ok, some answers, ovo su neki odgovori. I invite just a few close friends and family members. A few close friends. A few, nekoliko, close friends, bliskih prijatelja. And family members, i članova porodice. I invite all my friends, family and neighbors. Pozivam sve prijatelje, porodicu i komši. I like big parties, I like small parties. What about you? Do you like big or small birthday parties? Da li valite male zabave ili velike, sa puno ljudi? Okay, and now, what do you always do on your birthday? Šta uvek radite na svoj rođendan? And what do you never do on your birthday? I šta nikad ne radite na svoj rođendan? I always blow the candles out on my cake. Uvek oduvam svećice na tortu. I'm not too old. 
I'm never too old for that. Nikad nisam prestara za to. I always get presents and open them right away. Uvek dobijem poklone, bar neki poklon. And open them right away. I odmah ih otvaram. I always wake up early to prepare for my birthday party. Uvek ustajem rano da se pripremim za svoju rođenansku zabavu. Okay. And never. Nikada. Nikada ne radim to. I never do any housework on my birthday. Nikada ne radim kućne poslove na rođen. Housework. I never do any homework on my birthday. Nikada ne radim domaće zadatke na svoj rođen. I never eat broccoli on my birthday. Nikada ne jedem brokoli na svoj rođen. Ili možemo reći I always eat the food I like on my birthday. Uvijek jedem samo onu hranu koju volim kada mi je rođen. What about you? Is there something that you always do on your birthday? Da li ima nešto što radite uvek za svoj rođena? And is there something that you never do on your birthday? Okay. U rečenicama koje smo do sada koristili, da govorimo o tome kako obično slavimo svoj rođena, koristili smo present simple past. Present simple past. Okay. Os, evo još primjer. I always wake up early on my birthday. Uvijek se budim rano na svoj rođen. Always. You usually open presents immediately when you get them. Ti obično, usually, otvaraš poklone immediately, odmah. Čim ih dobiš. Immediately, odmah. My sister likes birthdays. She often has Big parties. My sister likes. Moja sestra voli rođendanje. Činjenica o njoj. She often has big birthday parties. Često ima velike, organizuje velike rođendanske zabave. Često. To je neka navika. My parents sometimes celebrate their birthdays. They go out with their friends. Moji roditelji ponekad slave. Svoje rođendane, izla, oni izlaze sa svojim prijateljima za rođendane. Sometimes celebrate, ponekad slavi. Ok, a sada pitanje u ovom vremenu. Do you wake up early on your birthday? Do you open presents immediately when you get them? Does your sister or brother like birthdays? Do your parents celebrate their birthdays? Znači, pitanja postavljamo sa do i das. Kratki odgovori su, na primjer, na pitanje Do you wake up early on your birthday? Može biti yes, I do. No, I don't. Uh, does your sister like birthdays? Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. Okay, let's revise the form of the present simple past. Da obnovimo formiranje present Uh, ovog vremena, present simple pass. Pozitiv, a pozitivne rečenice. I sing, you sing, he sings, she sings, it sings. We sing, you sing, and they sing. Vrlo je jednostavno, simple. A jedino što se razlikuje jeste treće lice jedine. He sings, my sister sings. My brother sings. She sings. It sings. Okay? Negative. Negativne rečenice. Odrične. I don't sing. You don't sing. He doesn't sing. She doesn't sing. It doesn't sing. We don't sing. You don't sing. And they don't sing. Isto je jednostavno, za sva lica koristimo don't, osim za treće lice jednine, he doesn't, Peter doesn't, she doesn't, uh, and doesn't sing well. Okay. I da primetimo da ovo s koje smo imali u potvrnoj rečenici, he sings, ovdje je kod doesn't i ne, nema ga kod sing. He doesn't sing. She sings, 
she doesn't sing. Znači to s, kao da se prebacilo kod does i nije ovdje više na kraju kod sings. Okay. I imamo pitanja. Do I sing? Da li ja pevam? Do I, do I sing well? Da li ja pevam lepo? Do you sing? Does he sing? Does she sing? Does it sing? Do we sing? Do you sing? And do they sing? Također jednostavno pitamo sa do za sva lica, osim za treće lice jednine. Does he sing? Does your teacher sing well? Does she sing? Does your mother sing well? Okay. Također da primetimo does sing. Nema se na kraju, zato što imamo ovdje kod does. Does. Ok, and some questions and answers. When do you celebrate your birthday? When? Kada. Do you celebrate it on, um, on the exact date when your birthday is? Tačno na onaj dan kada vam je rođendan. Do you celebrate it maybe the weekend before your birthday or the weekend after your birthday? When? When do you celebrate? Kada slavite svoj rođen? How do you celebrate your birthday? Kako slavite svoj rođen? With friends or family at home or at other places? May, do you maybe travel for your birthday or uh, have a party? Da li putujete za rođendan ili organizujete za? How? Kako slavite? Where do you celebrate your birthday? Gde slavite rođendan? Where do you celebrate your birthday? At home, kod kuće, um, at the swimming pool, na bazenu, at the bowling alley, u kuglani. Nowhere, nigde, ako baš ne volite da slavite rođendan. Who? Who do you invite to your birthday parties? Who do you invite to your birthday parties? Koga pozivate? Who? Do you invite all your family and friends? Just a few friends? Just some family members? What do you usually do on your birthday? Šta obično radite na svoj rođendan? What do you usually do on your birthday? Ok. What about your best friend? How does your best friend celebrate his or her birthday? Ako vaš najbolji drug slavi svoj rođendan? What does he or she usually do on his or her birthday? So just to remember one more time, when means kada, how, kako, where, gde, who, ko ili koga, what, šta. Excellent. Okay. For homework, try to interview someone using these questions. Za domaći probajte da nekoga intervjuišete, da nekoga ispitate ova pitanja. Um, it can be someone you don't know well. Nekoga koga ne poznajete dobro, ne idete na njegove ili njene rođendan. Uh, maybe your neighbor, maybe some of your uh, friends from school or some of your classmates. So try to interview someone. Ask them these questions and write down the answers. Pitajte ih ova pitanja i zapišite odgovore. That's all for today. And uh, that's all from me as well. Thank you for your attention. Hvala na pažnji. Goodbye and good luck. And also remember to watch something in English or to listen to something in English. You can also read or write down something in English, but it should be something that you really like because we learn best through something that we really like.
pošto najbolje učimo kroz nešto što nam se zaista dopada, bilo bi lepo da do sljedećeg puta odgledate nešto na engleskom, što volite, što vam je zanimljivo, da poslušate neku muziku, na primjer, koju volite na engleskom, da nešto možda zapišete ili pročitate na engleskom, što vam je zanimljivo. Uh, that's all. Uh, goodbye and have a great day. Bye-bye.